Now this is part two of building your own sim panel. If this is your first time joining us, you can construct your button box here and come back to install the code. Now this is going to be a quick one thanks to Bits and Droids for doing all the heavy lifting for us. So we've built the button box in the last video and we're here to copy and paste our code into our Arduino. First, we need to download Arduino IDE on here, you can see there's a plethora of options for the OS like Windows, Linux, Mac OX. Download the one you need and head back to his channel. Grab this sketch in a new tab. And if you want a deeper understanding, watch his video here where he builds out the script. So here's the code. and the readme doc and it'll teach you how to install the code all in text format for those of you who like to read so now we get download or save this sketch to our online Arduino account i already have it so here it is if we really want to i totally recommend it so that way you can always have access to the sketch should I need to change the computer or you know like windows crashing and all that good stuff now you download your sketch on your computer this is what Arduino IDE looks up blank when you first run it now that you have your sketch you just double click it and it would open right up looking like this there you go now we have our sketch for our button box already done and made thank you very much bits and droids And I like to verify it in case there's any kinks in the code that may have passed over in the process. So now here we have our Pro Micro. And when we first see it, when we first plug it in, we would only have one light, green light. Now also, one thing to keep in mind is that if you have a charge only or a charge plus cable plus meaning it can send and receive data if you have a charge only cable your computer will not pick up the arduino or the pro micro don't be me where i spent almost half a day trying to figure out what was going wrong and it was just a simple cable that i need to change so now that we plugged it in arduino is reading it our board and the com it shows us here now all we have to do is press upload and you'll see a few red flashes on the arduino and a confirmation at the bottom of the screen and now we have a red light telling us that the arduino does have a program on so let's test our arduino you see our red light it's here telling us that it has a program go to windows and Set up USB parameters. And we see our USB device installed now. Open up properties. And now, as you can see, the code was set up for 10 buttons, but there's many more within the code. I'm still trying to understand what it is, but what I do understand now is that it does work regardless of what only usable with a few extra buttons. Here we go. You can see what numbers correspond to which switch. The LEDs are turning on and we're good to go. So let's go and start Citizen. Now let's learn how to find our new button box. Today I want to use to lock all doors and open all doors currently in this patch 318.1 the landing gears are a little bit finicky and i can't program the button box with that code but nonetheless security is good open and close doors I 
favorite started at all setting power power on and power off which is also separate from flight ready which is supposed to be separate but i'll tell you a little more about this later to so understand we have thrusters on and off we have shields on and off and weapon on and off keep in mind i set my keybind for power on and power off Engines, weapons, shields that require power to turn on, but here we go. We have power. Okay, let's test our back doors. And here we go. The code with flight ready and power on and off are tied together. So all I need to do is turn on power and then flight ready is my ship. Please CIG, separate these codes. And here marks the start of my no key journey where I build my sim pit with the intentions of not needing a keyboard while in flight. Feel free to join me as I continue to build many more button boxes.